am confused. Why? What now? I am confused about what regression towards the mean is, do you know, in general, when observing repeated measurements in the same subject. Relatively high or relatively low observations are likely to be followed by less extreme measurements nearer to the subject's true mean. In general, when observing repeated measurements in the same subject, relatively high or relatively low observations are likely to be followed by less extreme measurements nearer to the subject's true mean. Say what? Okay, well, let me see if I can explain it better. Let's take a coin toss, for example. We flip a coin 12 times and have people guess the outcome. Most people would get it right between 5 and 8 times. However, let's assume one person guessed it correctly 10 out of 12 times. If we have that person try to guess it correctly 10 out of 12 times again, the odds are they will not be able to, and they will regress towards the mean of between 5 and 8. Okay, I think I understand it. So would it work the other way too? Say the person only guessed it correctly one time out of 12, would next time that number move closer to the mean? Yes, it would work that way as well. Oh, I am still a bit confused. Do you think you could give me another example as well? Maybe a baseball example? Baseball? I love baseball. Sure, I can try again. Okay, let's look at batting averages. If you look at players with the highest batting average in one season, and compare it to their average the next season, they are likely to have a lower batting average the following year. In other words, they regress towards the mean. This plays a role in the so-called sophomore slum. Oh, so you mean how the rookie of the year usually does worse the second season that they play? That's exactly correct. Now let me get back to studying.